We all seen a Diddy Cassie video where pretty much P. Diddy was treating Cassie like she was a woman who owed him money. Now, here's the thing. Diddy has very close associates and friends, and there's very few of them that he would actually call a friend. Now, some of the most closest people that I have seen that have supported Diddy, say he was a great person, all these other kind of things, or to show loyalty in general, has not said a single thing out about him yet. And I'm just waiting to see what they're going to say, because two of the people I want to talk about today are women. One and the first is going to be Mary J. Blige. Now, I would expect her above anybody else to say something. And the main reason being is, uh, Mary came from uh, physically, uh, physical relationships, right? She came from those. She has a history of dealing with that kind of uh, trauma. You would think she would try to reach out to Cassie after the video came out, because there's no way in the world she didn't see it. But that hasn't happened. Now there were rumors saying that she was trying to separate herself from Diddy uh, their friendship is pretty much over. That was about a month ago, what have you, right? But here's the thing. It is very well known, documented all over the internet, how close those two were. To a point they were almost always seen together. Outside of music videos and stuff, you see them out. Those two be together. And allegedly there was a lot of rumors that Mary J may have helped uh, groom and traffic women for Diddy. So, I'm kind of curious. Like the title of the video is, is she a stool pigeon? Is she just staying quiet and is going to confess everything she knows to the to the feds? To, I guess it's at Homeland Security right now, uh, of what she saw when she was around P. Diddy over the years. So that way she gets some immunity herself. Because you cannot be a friend, a colleague, and an alleged lover of this man, and not see the abuses that he did to multiple women and men. And let's just call for what it is. If he treated Cassie the way he did, the woman that he was so in love with, how would he treat people that he doesn't even give a care about? That he wants to make a point over or have power over? So I'm waiting for Mary J to say something. I'm hoping this is like a stool pigeon situation to why she is so quiet. So that way she can say what is needed to make sure PD does go away. We'll see. The other person that surprises me a lot is um, Lil' Kim. Now, not only am I more surprised about Little Kim, now, Diddy and Little Kim has had a well-documented uh, beef and problems back and forth. But she hasn't said a thing either. And that's a very weird thing to me, because she was part of Bad Boy. She was a lover to Biggie. And Biggie was PD's quote-unquote best friend at one point in time. So it kind of, so here's my thing. If you've seen all the stuff Diddy has done, and I'm pretty sure whatever she's seen is not anything recent, but she still has a history of seeing something. She could have came out and supported Cassie after that video came out, but she didn't. Again, I'm hoping it's another stool pigeon situation to where she's just staying quiet, so that way uh, she won't compromise the investigation of Homeland Security and will say something after he's locked up and put away. But little Kim herself, being in those type of uh, physical relationships, uh, that kind of verbal situations that the same thing Cassie had, may not with Diddy directly with other men, that are part of the music industry or just in her personal life, you would think she would be out and say something because let's be real here, Biggs, that was, as she called him Biggs, she she also, I could have swore she could she heard the rumors about P. Diddy being involved with this, um, not being here today. So, and now let's move on to Usher. Usher and he put out the puffy flavor camp that I had no idea about until that Howard Stern interview he did uh, about what five, ten years ago. I don't know, I'm bad with time. It was a long time ago. And even to the point where he said he would never let his kids go there, how he got to see the lifestyle and all this other kind of stuff. Now, he has done Club Shay Shay. He didn't say anything negative or make any negative uh, implications towards PD during that. Um, he at, he's at music video award shows looking devilish with the demon eyes, well, all black eyes in his outfit. And it's just, if half of what happened to alleged Justin Bieber happened to Usher, you would think that he would say something, especially since he has kids himself. And you would think you would want somebody to go down. Now let's be real here, we're in uh, 2024. There is no way, let's say even if Usher got SA and he was the bottom, nobody would care. In fact, probably more women would desire him more, especially in this day and era. 
But when it comes to Usher, why not say something? You really have nothing to lose and everything to gain by saying something. Again, I, I, I really do hope it's just something where it's just like, hey, I'm just going to be quiet for now because I'm working with the feds and then I'll explain everything that comes out later. You know, maybe we'll get a good movie out of it and um, like a R. Kelly type deal, documentary. And Usher will be like one of the main witnesses or like the quiet on set in Drake Bell where they uh, come out and say what happened in the very public platform. But we'll wait to see when it comes to Usher. And then the final person is Ashton Kutcher. If I remember correctly, those two started their really close friendship after Punk, I want to say. And they was around each other partying all the time. Now my thing about Ashton that makes me question him a lot. He has a history of being around people who are abusive or creepy. If you just look at his history, this even the Danny Masters and stuff alone. And now P. Diddy. And he's an advocate for women, uh, for women being trafficked in. Or uh, when women and kids being trafficked in SA, he normally try to quote unquote stand up in those issues. Why isn't he saying anything about Diddy right now? I went to I went to all the all four of the Instagram pages that I went to in their uh, Twitter. I would never call it X as it sounds weird, their Twitter pages. And I haven't seen them make a, a comment, a statement, anything about P. Diddy, any way, shape, or form, at least as of today when I'm recording this video. And all these people staying quiet. I understand that he may have something on him. And the only thing I could think of that you're too afraid that whatever he has on you may not get you arrested, but it may taint your public image for the rest of your life. But here's the thing, all of you should be rich. And not just rich, rich, generational wealth are almost wealthy. At least y'all should be, I would think. As long as nobody wasted or stole your money. The little Kim, I know she was put on way back in the day and same thing as Mary J. Blige. The other two, they should be rich. Um, you really have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose and you may actually gain more respect from people who were your fans. People who idolize you. If you came out and spoke about what you saw or what may have happened to you to help take this man down or make a statement. But your silence is very deafening. And I always keep saying that, you know, this entertainment industry is very wicked. It's very scary. It's very tempting. Because you never know what you truly need to do to get to the top. You may have all the talent and capability in the world, but just because you're willing to go to dust that somebody with some real morals when it go to, you'll get ahead. Now I'm starting to think that every single person I said today and more, they have went to those deaths to make sure they got ahead. Because they may not be as talented as the other person, but they want to do what is they want to do what's needed to be done. Well, you guys tell me what you think. This means to be ranting a little bit because I was just looking and thinking, I was like, man, all these people who are his best friends, I was well documented are around Diddy, has it said a thing. There's plenty of others too. But if I listed everybody that I thought off the top of my head right then and there, I mean, this would probably be an hour long video. Nobody has time for that. But anyways, um, you guys have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think. And thank you again. Bye.